In a previous video of mine, I talked about Apple CarPlay on my Android head unit for my FJ Cruiser. Well, today I'm going to talk about the Android Auto on the same head unit using the same exact dongle. So the app itself is called AutoKit, and you're supposed to go to the site and download the file, put it onto a flash drive, and then upload it into your Android head unit. Now, if you recall from the other video, you're supposed to go into... Uh, your apps list and then there's something called APK installer you're gonna tap on install and then once you plug in your flash drive um, you're gonna see it here and then you're gonna it's gonna run you through an installation process check the other video uh, about Apple CarPlay and it'll show you uh, the, the process but I already have it installed so I'm gonna go into apps and there it is it's called AutoKit so here's the dongle itself, All right? There's a female end on one side and then there's a male end on the other side. So the male end obviously goes into your car stereo's USB input. And then on the other end is going to be a USB that connects the dongle to your phone. What I'm gonna do now is launch the AutoKit uh, app, which is, this is my shortcut here. Going back into the app, it says please connect the phone. It's going to wait a little bit. Now, this is the Android Auto screen. Now, right off the bat, everything looks a little skewed horizontally. You can tell that the uh, oval icons, these should actually be circles. They should be circular. Everything is sort of just stretched a little bit. And then up here on the screen, I feel like it's a little bit cut off. If you look at the, uh, the edge of the 60 degree Fahrenheit, it's a little bit cut off. Um, I feel like from my perspective, if I'm sitting in the driver's seat here, I'm looking down here, it doesn't really quite fit right. Things just don't look like they're in the right uh, aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna run through some of the apps here and just talk about what I like and I don't like about these things. So let's just go to Google Maps. Um, you can sort of see how, how wide it is. That's just to look at, um, at the Google Maps here. Now going back, here's Pandora. Steering wheel controls work. And the graphics are a little stretched out here too. Um, although the audio sounds fine, uh, steering wheel controls work just fine. Volume controls work. Uh, if I want to hit the next track here, that also works. Now I'll say that using these apps in within Android Auto are visually not quite as good as using them as independent apps outside of Android Auto. Now what I mean by that is if I exit the Android Auto, then I go into my apps uh, you'll see that I have, let's see, I, I do have Pandora as an independent app and I do have Spotify as an independent app, um, among other things. So um, just want to show you what the difference is between uh, the interface that you just saw with Pandora and the interface that you're about to see. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to connect this head unit to uh, a mobile hotspot. So I'm going to turn my phone into a hotspot. I'm going to turn on my hotspot feature. So now it's connected. Now if I go into my apps and I run Pandora as an independent app outside of Android Auto, you'll see that it just it just looks a little bit uh, better in terms of visual graphics. I think a, a drawback here is that you're actually seeing advertisements in the app outside of uh, Android Auto. I, uh, if you notice, if we go back into the um, let's see, if we go back into the Android Auto version in AutoKit, and we're in Pandora. There are 
no ads. Uh, that's interesting. But if you want to, you know, if you want to make comparisons, you can uh, between the Android Auto version and the, let's see, let's go back, and the independent app version. So you get the ads, it's kind of annoying. Um, but this is the interface outside of Android Auto. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Android Auto. All right, let's try Amazon Music here. See what that looks like. All of this stuff works. Uh, these buttons, volume buttons work. Next track, that stuff works just fine. All right, so that is the Amazon app, Amazon Music app through Android Auto. So let's see what that is like in the independent app. So let's get out of here. Let's go back into our main screen and go into Amazon Music, which is here. And I prefer the look of this, the graphics on this one, better than the Android Auto version because uh, it looks kind of like what I'm used to seeing on my phone. You know, the graphics just look, uh, they're they're proportionally correct, and uh, it just looks a little bit more like what I'm used to seeing on my computer or, um, or on my phone. But uh, I just want to give you guys a look at the difference between the graphics of the applications independent of Android Auto. So let's get out of here. Let's go back to the CarPlay. What else we got? Uh, let's see what's happening with the news. Here's your news update this afternoon. First up, here are today's top headlines. This is DW. This is DW News. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been discharged from a London hospital after... All right. But I just wanted to show you guys a comparison between Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, if you've seen my last video on CarPlay, it uses the same exact dongle. It comes in this box. It's the same thing that I use to connect my wife's iPhone to the head unit to, to run CarPlay. So uh, that's one of the cool things about this is that if you have a household that has, uh, you know, Apple and Android, you can run both using the same dongle. All right, so there you have it in review. CarPlay and Android Auto work with the same dongle. Um, CarPlay graphics look just a little bit better uh, because their proportions are actually correct. And Android Auto doesn't look quite as nice. Um, everything looks a little skewed. The applications uh, graphics are a little more simple than running these apps independently of Android Auto, if that makes sense. Now you have a look at using Apple CarPlay and using Android Auto. That's it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, you know, if you want to see more content, let me know. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.